Last week, we began planning the layout for the kitchen and moved the toilet flange to a better location in the bathroom for the earth bag add-ons in the main house. Okay, our pipe here has to run around one quarter inch per foot drop. So that's about a half an inch in two feet if we take our shoes off and count that up. So I put a little half inch kind of a block on the end of my two foot level. And all I have to do now is just put it on there. And if it's level, then I got it. Um, right now I'm digging it out so that we can get a nice straight shot through and I have to drop it down just a little bit. So our septic line runs from our restroom inside over to our tank right through here. And we're basically gonna be attaching our new restroom line into here. So what's gonna happen when you cut that open? Is that the gross part? That's the gross part. We buy wheat berries and then we, we sprout them and we dry them and then we grind them into flour. And a couple days ago I was running it and all of a sudden I hear this big clonking noise. This wheel had come completely off and rolled behind the door. It's a hand flour mill. And Gary and the boys, years ago, they hooked up this belt to this other mill we had, which was a stone mill. The stones had broken on it, and so it was no longer usable. They turned that engine on its side, and uh, it had been working for years and years. This is the first repair that we've had to do to it. Maybe 10 years? I 10, 15, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's been old. a long time. So we turn it on and see if it works. Are you confident? Well, I'm always confident. Let me put something underneath it. About every third day, I come out here and grind more berries. This is another thing too that would be super nice to have in the kitchen. It's some sort of a closet for it or something. It could be part of the kitchen. Would that be cool, Gary? Yeah, and then be we cool. could. I'll build it right in and then we'll, we'll encase it nicely and build a cabinet for it, really. Back in business for another 10 years. Yeah, what a deal, huh? All right, so we are changing this up a little bit more. Originally, when we had this put in, our height of the pipe was a little too tall. In the distance we had to travel, we were going down about a half an inch per foot, which is a little bit steep. I think it's still technically in, you know, it's like the max you can do, but really where it's optimized the most is about a quarter inch per foot. And since we're putting this in, we thought, let's go for that. So we're just digging this down a touch deeper. That way everything flows at its best because I don't know about you, but I really don't want to open this thing back up after we've been using it for a while. the dog door. Yeah. Come in, Gizzy. <laughs> Me and Mom went yard sailing, and we got these really pretty curtains here. This one's kind of like this coppery, burnt orange color. But as you can see, they are very, very long. Long enough for the puppy to cause trouble. I'm gonna shorten them up and put some backing so they're not so, they let less uh, weather in. We have a water line right here, which goes to our uh, our outdoor shower and our washing machines. And we would like to go under that pipe instead of sitting on top of it. So, so apparently there's more than one pipe. What, is one hot water and one's cold? We'll probably end up cutting it and going over the top. This one's in our way and this one, right? We can't go in between those two. Bring it up and put an elbow. Four elbows. We could do it. We got it. Do you think we got those, Bryce? Well, let's go see. Let's see, what is it? There's our pieces and a pipe. So we got the parts, okay. but they turn out that they're too big and we don't actually have the parts. Meanwhile, we're gonna go outside and work on the outside. I'm thinking we should just upgrade to an outhouse and just forget all this piping. <laughs> Is that an upgrade though or a downgrade? That's the question. <laughs> 
talk to me. Okay. There you go. That's level. Okay, so the pipe has to set right about here. The problem is when you're putting a pipe inside an inline that's already existing, you have to use a special technique. Half of this flange, half of this flange. So you cut the pipe a little bit wider than what would normally work if you were just working with new pipes. It should slip down into this side and then we just pull it back halfway. Okay, I need some goo, Blue. All right. All right, get the hazmat suits. Here you go, Dad. I want to pause the video, go eat something, and then come back. Because you won't be able to eat for about an hour. <laughs> Nothing came out. Extremely clean compared to what I thought of. I'm um, looking there. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Let's get some. Let's get some goop on there. Get that hole shut up fast. All right, here we go, Brian. Okay, here we go. It did come back, so matter that. Uh, we need bricks now. Now it is perfect. So what do you think of that? This here is a clean out. So, heaven forbid there's a plug. We got some place we can go in and clean out. It's like working on a sewer at night. Can you hold this pipe up please? You can't see anything. So, you know, if you stick your hand in something liquid, you just pretend Assume that it's, it's water. Clear. It's black, it actually works. Okay, let's go inside. Bring this too. And I need this level. And that's all I need. That's so all I need is just these things right here. And that's it, that's all I need. He's gonna come out in a couple minutes and need something else. Guess what, he needs a Saza. <laughs> you doing another clean out? No, this is a vent. We have to vent these things because they will vacuum. Dude. Even though I'm not really helping with any physical work, I am helping you think through this. You are, for, you're here for me, I appreciate it. Since those pipes have been buried, we couldn't tell with all the dirt, that was the hot water. So Brian and Garen came home with cold water PVC, and so it didn't fit. We cut it last night, and then we realized we didn't have the proper tools because it was hot water line and not cold water line. We miraculously, we were able to find a, a connector. So we put that in there, but we didn't get it all the way on. We didn't realize that. And when we came back and turned on the water pressure, it leaked. So we didn't have water all last night. Good stuff. I went ahead and painted whiteboards on every single one of my drawer cupboard drawers here. Already, it's, it's really fun and it works really well, surprisingly, for just being a paint. You know, you, you, you think you have to get this plastic board and stuff, but really you could just get a paint. It works, it's really cool. Well, how's it working? It's working good. Bryson did so well on his that I wanted to try it. This is an art easel. I thought we'd make it into the whiteboard. Using Bryson's leftover whiteboard paint, I waited uh, quite a few days and then I used it and this definitely is not working. Whiteboard did not work when it sits in the can too long. Shay and I got up really early this morning so that we could get to the store and get back with all the parts that were needed. What? I wonder why this pipe didn't seal. I think we did, no. No connection. I get back and Bryson's not around, but Garen is. So he hops in there and says, I'll do it. You know, the hero. The hero. Just the hero of our tale. He looks at him, he says, well, you just needed a coupling. Oh, bummer. What? You got all elbows. Should I not get elbows? We need a coupling, but that's okay. Well, he didn't know we were going, you know, we were making this little U-shape so the pipe could go through. He just thought we wanted to connect the pipes together. It's been quite the endeavor. We have ran out of glue a couple of times. We've had it by parts multiple times. It's quite the driving to town. So he made it a coupling out of the four, and now we're back to, we have to go back to the store and get more pipe and get this going again. Yes, Garen? May I just point out that we yes. have water today? We do. That was the good part. So here we are. This has just been an absolute comedy of errors.
are on. And that'll be in the closet, so it won't be seen. Well, that wasn't really a waste of time, but we're glad it's over with. Now we're gonna be moving on to hopefully more pleasant things. Thanks for being a part of our family. Bye. Thank you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. <laughs>